Uh, hi, uh, this is Alan uh, from Cliffolio. Um, so one of the dashboards that I use most often, probably the go-to dashboard, uh, is the one that I'm going to show you right now. This is the ta dashboard that really consolidates all of my accounts and my MRR data. Uh, it allows me to look at it on a monthly basis, on a daily basis, and then also even project forward to sort of see what the end of month or end of quarter or end of year is going to do. So the, the top one that we're looking at here, this is sort of the consolidated view of account activity and MRR over a certain period. So you can see that on the, the left hand side, we're talking about accounts uh, and on the right hand side, it's all about what's happening from an MRR point of view. So what's happening from the dollars uh, point of view. And, and, and as everybody knows, you know, we're always looking at, at, at what happened as far as new or added, what happened with that, the existing base, you know, did they expand, did they drop? Did they cancel? And then of course, what is the net uh, at the end of the day or at the end of the month? Usually I'll look at this um, for the given month, but you can see that the two beginning and ending date um, inputs there at the bottom allow me to go back in time as well and really to understand what happened last month or over the quarter or even quarter to date. Um, so it's a, a really nice way of slicing and dicing the account and MRR data uh, to any date range that I'm interested in. So this second clip that we're looking at here, the uh, uh, MRR activity gives us a, a more granular view of, of what is happening today. And, and I say today, even though there's a, this drop down level, uh, a drop down up here that allows us to segment between today or even a date range, but 90% of the time, I've always got it just looking at today. So it gives me, and if you scroll up and down um, throughout this clip, it gives me the same thing that it does uh, up above. It gives me what, what happened as far as new wins, uh, who expanded, who canceled, uh, and who dropped. Uh, so again, it gives us those four important transactional level details that happen on a daily basis you know, for any SaaS company. And then up at the top, you know, just a really in big font, you know, really nice, you know, what is the net new for accounts? You know, what is the net new for uh, total number of our, our MRR? And then the totals for both accounts and MRR as well. So the third clip um, over on the right here is, is, is really quite powerful. So there's, you know, a chart and, and let me explain it for a second. There's, there's four things that we're looking at here. We're looking at uh, the line chart is a cumulative rep representation of our total MRR value and our total number of accounts. Um, and you can see, you can get a sense of where we're accelerating and you know, where in summer, for example, we slowed down a little bit. And then to contrast that, what we're also doing, you can see the line charts, they're showing daily activity. So daily activity, positive and negative, right? This is our net daily activity for MRR and our net daily activity for accounts. So you can see there's a couple of places where we're actually negative. Those are days where cancellations or drops exceeded new and expansions. So as a whole, obviously you wanna be trending to the right and increasing over time. And this is what you'll get if you look at the cumulative view. And if you scroll down just, just a touch further, um, one of, the, one of the really nice things about um, this clip is that we've built in some fairly simple predictive uh, values here. So we can see what our planned increase is and we can contrast that against what is actually happening. So the forecast versus the plan. And then on the right hand column, you see a percentage on plan. So we can take those numbers and then extrapolate that to the end of the month. Uh, end of the quarter and also end of the year. And we've actually found this to be incredibly uh, accurate. So if we know that we are trending behind or falling behind, obviously there's things that we can do to further accelerate uh, our activities, our marketing, our sales activities. So having this sort of view into the future is something that we have used a lot to readjust and constantly readjust uh, what our end of year or end of month targets are gonna be. Uh, and that's my go-to dashboard, the dashboard that the entire executive uh, and management team uses. Uh, that's the one that I probably log in and sign in and look at most throughout the day.